Hi, good morning, and welcome to the ZP Vlog and Podcast. So we do this every Sunday at approximately 8 a.m. London time, and it's really just a wrap up on news from Zimmer and Peacock um, for this week. So this week has been extremely busy in terms of um, going to um, a couple of conferences. There was one at TWI, um, which is the Welding Institute um, in Cambridge, UK, and also we were at um, the University of Hertfordshire because they had a sort of innovation um, summit. So we did attend um, both those um, events. So it's been busy in that respect. But we've also had a company meeting um, as well, which I'll just kind of cover quickly as well. So let me just jump into it a little bit and say that um, something that we have been um, working on and talking about is the ZP, or I shouldn't say the ZP, is a, we call it the S3 conference. And this is really the Scandinavian Census Summit. So the Scandinavian um, Census Summit really contains um, the idea of bringing together um, technologies and we call it sort of digitization for sta sustainability and I think that's really is you know sustainability is not just reducing you know the use of you know carbon fuel sources or making things more efficient anytime you want to improve a process in life and reduce and make things more efficient you have to basically measure that measure it you know so people are measuring their carbon footprint well in order to do this in a meaningful um, manner, you have to have essentially sensors. And so we're holding a, a conference, which is kind of generic in its application because we just label it as digitization for a sustainable future. But, you know, the whole the whole sort of thesis behind this is, you know, sensors can be part of improving the world, you know, both through efficiency and directly through the climate. But also just through efficiency. So that means we don't exclude um, industries that may be considered to have a larger carbon footprint like um, the oil and gas industry. We will need the oil and gas industry, but I think we'll need them in different ways. Oil and gas, for example, is a great source of chemicals. From those chemicals, you can make pharmaceuticals. From pharmaceuticals, you can treat people for, you know, I don't want to go too dramatic on it, but treat them for cancer, for example. So let's not completely think that these industries are a 100% problem they actually also bring a lot of benefits as well and so we will need these kind of people and uh, industries rather and um, the whole the whole thesis around the conferences you know industries like we will need clean water we will need the oil and gas industry and uh, we will need um, renewable energies we will need food and agriculture and how can we run these industries and processes that as that are most efficient and our whole thesis is we can do it through um having sensors digitizing that um what those sensors are sensing for example sending it to the cloud and letting people make use of it and analyze that data so um we are just talking this week actually about um the fact that we are having this conference um, and the location is going to be in horton um in norway and the venue is um which is something that we did put up in the newsletter this week is very um i think beautiful is the right word for it to be honest with you it's on the oslo fjord and ironically the oslo fjord is very beautiful but it actually has a nitrate problem like many water courses many river courses in europe and and globally um you know there's farmland farms use nitrate fertilizers nitrate fertilizers get into the water the water gets into the oslo fjord so we are holding it on the Oslo field and it is a beautiful location. But I suppose underneath the surface, literally, you know, there is a problem and it's nitrate um, pollution. So lovely facility in Horten, Norway. Uh, we're expecting, you know, several hundred um, attendees. We've already got a full lineup of speakers. Um, so we're sort of delighted with that. And we hope that people will um, be able to attend um, our S3 conference, the Scandinavian Census Summit. Um, some other news from ZP this week as well is um, at Zimmer and Peacock, we are very strong in continuous glucose monitoring, CGM. And we've been working, and it's actually attached to the previous com um, comments about this S3 conference. We've been working on a sensor for measuring the health of fish. Now, this is um, important because if we're going to feed the sort of 7 billion people you know that are coming to this planet or on this planet already 
we're going to need you know good agriculture and efficient agriculture we're also going to need good and efficient aquaculture you know um you can have you know thoughts around um, fish farming but the fact is that fish are a good source of protein and essential oils and if we're going to do this then we need to do this in the most efficient manner possible and for me i mean it's a personal thesis that in order to make farming less impactful we probably have to spread it around a little bit more when you intensify something it becomes quite industrialized you know you could argue about sort of local pollution but if we can spread our need for protein around a few more environments our impact upon those each of those environments is actually a little bit smaller anyway that said so i do think that aquaculture the produ production of salmon which is good a source of protein good source of you know, essentially nutrients including essential oils is um, important and we want that to be as efficient as possible so we do have a effort to put biosensors into salmon in order to monitor their health to basically improve kind of you know their um, their experience and hopefully produce in the end a better quality of product and to increase or decrease the mortality rate so that um, essentially what you put into the system you get a better return on that um, investment so we've put some data up this week which is really um cgm continuous glucose monitoring data that's actually coming up, coming from a um a salmon farming um piece of work that we're doing um in norway but not unrelated to the whole s3 um conference this week we will be having our um zimmer and peacock uh, develop a zone webinar at um, 8 a.m thursday um, london time and every week we do try to um, answer questions that have come in from people um, during the week so i won't say much more now um, but every week we get questions um, if they're sort of an academic or technical in nature then um, we will use that um, webinar to um, answer them and this week has been a slightly shorter um, let's say vlog and podcast but we did also have our company meeting this week um we did put some images up on the uh, website and um, we had um a online company meeting so we had our guys in um in norway and our guys in the uk and we then just met virtually through shared conference rooms um and really the you know the point of a company meeting is both to come together and also to talk about your strategy and your direction you know what's your mission at for example, Zimmer and Peacock, you know, our mission is to really improve outcomes for mankind. And we think we can do it through sensors. Um, and so we kind of have a mission to sort of generally improve, you know, let's say leave the planet and leave humanity in a different, in a better state than necessarily we came into it. Um, how are we going to achieve it? We're scientists and engineers, so we have to achieve it through our technology. And so we have a technology we call sensor to API. It just means we can put a sensor on somebody's skin and measure their glucose level and try to help them improve, for example, their diabetes if they're a diabetes type 2 or improve their control of it if they're a diabetic um, type 1. So sensor to API for us just means we have a sensor, we have electronics, we have a smart app, we have a cloud system. And the API bit is important see, because in this life, you can't solve all of the world's problems. Um, but having an API strategy allows us then to work with other companies and other entrepreneurs so that they can build their technologies upon our technology. Um, and so sensor to API really means something to us because at the end of API, it means it equals collaboration. Um, and I have a sort of, um, we have a bit of a landing page, um, let's say around that. So shorter this week, but I just want to do a quick summary. So we have definitely been at two external um, events, one at TWI, the Welding Institute, really, really interesting. Um, one at the University of Hertfordshire on um, innovation. Then we had our own event, which was the company meeting. As I said, we talked about a sensor to API. And that really dovetails lovely then with S3, the Sen uh, Scandinavia Census Summit, which is really trying to bring together all these applications and people who are maybe in different application spaces, but actually have a shared technology um, vision and then of course if you've got any questions of Zimmer and Peacock and they're technical academic in nature then we do run our sensors um, we run rather our ZP developer zone every Thursday at 8am um, London time 
I'll essentially finish it there, but I want to say um, thanks very much. Um, there's a good contact us button on the website. And if you've got any questions, um, don't hesitate to reach out to us. Okay, thanks very much.